right now. Okay. So this is the 2020 F250 with the 7.3 liter. We're doing the first oil change. Uh, the interval is 10,000 miles, but we're doing this one at 9,000 miles. And before I drop the oil, I'd like to check the oil level, which I will do over here. I want to see where the oil level's at, see if it dropped any. When the truck was new, it was filled up to the top hash mark. That is one annoying thing about this dipstick as well, is it catches up. You see the rivet right there? That always seems to catch on something and it makes it hard to push in there. Yeah, the oil is looking pretty good actually and it's within the proper range, so that's good. And it's ready to lift, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, you can film whatever you want, man. Yeah. All the way up, bro. Just don't stop at midway. You said don't go all the way up? Go all the way up. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I know it's your I know it's your baby and all. Yeah. Lifted heavier things. Right. Hit on the I way. know, I see it. Yeah. Alright, there you go. Cool. Go get the little caddy over there. It looks like a 13. What do you think, Ty? I'd do a 13. Has he got a metal green plug? Yeah. 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 No, thank God. Oh, it's all good. Uh, 9,000. So no washer, it's got that rubber, rubber setup on there, 13 millimeter drain plug. I'm supposed to grease these fittings as well. There's fittings on these U-joints. Yeah, there's one yeah. there. Roll back over. My, I have about the special Ford grease. I don't have it with me though, so I'll have to do that later. Hey. Do that thing where I prime it. Mm -hmm. Of all the oil changes you ever done, Ty, have you ever seen instructions where the manufacturer wants you to do this? No, I haven't either. You think it helps? 
Yeah, because when you fire it up, it'll. Clack, 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 clack. Yeah. Without it, you can hear the engine running dry. Yeah. Some cars are worse than others. You think I'll need pliers for the oil filter? I don't know, probably if it came from the dealer. Or you already changed it. Oh snap. Still got the mustard. It is on there pretty good. Did you loosen it? Yeah. Wanna throw the green plug in. You'll have to apologize by the poor filming. <laughs> nah, you're doing good. Dude, this pan is crazy to me. Like this part, it looks small. But if you look at it from the side, you can see how deep it is. Mm -hmm. If I had done that, it would have splashed everywhere. Well, I had the thing up. Yeah. Got to top off the filter again, the level went down. I had it filled to the top. Wipe all the oil off. That way, if you see oil later, you know that it's leaking. And it's not there from before. I don't want to blow it. I just tilt the lever. Yeah, towards the trash. Smash it all the way down. You want to check tire pressure? Uh, no. All right. Good. Super and then I'm just gonna move it a little bit so you can back out. There we go. Alright. Oh, there we go. Be funny if we can figure out where to put the wheel back. Definitely need a funnel on that. Yeah. It's down there on the blue machine. It's like the mouth on the bottle is wider than the cap. It's crazy. Where is it at? Where's it? Leave that off. It'll blow a check engine light too. Yeah. I'll get the funnel. Out.
How many quarts? Eight, supposedly. You see the air box on it? Yeah. You can check the air filter by just looking through that hole. The little smoke Oh, yeah. Front. Oh, that is kind of awesome. So I'm going to put seven quarts in it and then check the dipstick just to see what it looks like. <coughs> so you looked it over, right? You didn't see any leaks or anything weird? 9,000 miles, baby. Looking fresh. It was really hard to find 530 full synthetic. Why? I could find 520 full synthetic. As in the Motorcraft. The okay. Motorcraft brand. Yeah. 520 full synthetic was all over the place. Um... And all the 5W30 I found was synthetic blend. Yeah, I'd order this online from O'Reilly's. Oh, what up, man? What, we're making a movie? Yeah. Yeah. You want to say hi? <laughs> no. That's the man right there. We'll be doing the alignment later. Eight. What do you think about the new seven three? I haven't seen them. <laughs> yeah. in yet, you know. This, this actually here's the first one that we've seen here. It'll be a couple years. Yeah. Most people get the warranty and free oil changes from the factory and all that. Bump no. that. When we see, you know, the five liters and the thirty fives. Yeah. Or whatever that thirty five or three whatever that eco boost. That eco boost, is. yeah. Boost. Put that engine in everything, I think. Had a lot of issues. The main issues I've seen on those before a lot of ages where the coolant hoses and everything got the quick connects. Oh the Europeans, yeah. Europeans, that crap will start leaking that plastic. Yeah. We've had to do a couple of those. I put a fuel pump in this one already. That's what he was saying. Yeah. How was that? Uh, not difficult. Tell them about the clips. Yeah, there are some uh, clips where the threads, um, where the bolts that hold the... Uh, like the band? The pan, yeah. Like the skid plate yeah. and the, um, the tank itself. And those clips, they made, they couldn't have made them any weaker, you know. It's all broke on you, and just. On uh, new luckily, only two of them broke, uh -huh. and they were ones that I could get a wrench around to the back. But some of them, if they broke, the way the frame is, you can't get a wrench back there because it's boxed. I was hoping to change the cabin air filter too, but I have no idea where it is. Yeah. What year is it? Is it 20? Yeah. Do you have one? Yeah, I do. So it has it then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's got one. That's good. I like how you picked the skinniest one. It's the only one we got. The other one got thrown away in this trash can right here. Eating all the filters. Or the funnels. So that was the uh, <clears throat> that was the seventh quart. I just want to check the oil so I know what it looks like when there's seven quarts. Granted, I haven't started the truck yet either. But you failed the filter. That's true. There you go. It didn't hang up that time. Mm -mm. That's seven quarts without starting it. It's at the very bottom of the uh, hash marks. I'll go ahead and put the full eight in there and then fire it up and we'll see what it looks like.
Oh, the cabin air filter? Cool. It's a little high to me. Can't see it through the camera. <laughs> yeah. I'll check it again after I drive it. And last thing I do is reset the oil light. There you go. Let's see if I can figure it out. It might be one of those deals where you just hold the OK button down. So I'm going to turn the key to the on position. Driver door, hood, those messages are up. So let's go to display mode, oil life. And yeah, it's at 12%. It just says hold okay to reset, so we'll do that. And that's that.